Yo, 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 what up? Okay, so a couple of weeks ago, Trina Little, one of my favorite video people in the world, came on my blog and talked about TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is a Chrome extension, essentially, that just helps you make the most of your YouTube channel, and it is legit. I kind of just sort of stumbled onto TubeBuddy about a month ago, and it is making a huge difference in my life. I am able to create my thumbnail for my video straight from YouTube, which cuts out an entire step of Photoshop and extracting a clip from you know, my video editor and all these things. So I do my thumbnail straight from YouTube. I also, as soon as I upload a video to YouTube, I schedule it to go live in Facebook. And I don't mean go live like post my YouTube link. I mean the same video goes live natively on my Facebook page. So Facebook loves native video. So I'm getting more exposure on my Facebook page and YouTube and my blog and all the things. So that really helps. Another thing that I am doing with TubeBuddy is using their checklist. And they have a checklist of like all the things you need to do once you upload a video and I love it. And I'm going to show you all of this in just a second. One other thing that I'm loving about TubeBuddy is that I can schedule unlisted events. So basically when I am using iMovie or whatever I'm using to edit and I upload it to YouTube, I upload it as unlisted. So I can upload my video as unlisted straight from iMovie. My assistant can see it, my team can see it to write my notes or anything else they need to be writing or doing or uploading. But I can use TubeBuddy to go in and schedule that unlisted video instead of having to make it private and do it from YouTube. So I really love that. So I'm gonna show you all of those things right now. So TubeBuddy is essentially just a Chrome extension. So I am going to give you guys a link below this video if you're watching on YouTube or in the post if you're watching on my blog. And that link, you will be able to download a free version or if you need some of the more advanced features, you might want the paid version. I actually ended up going with the paid version for myself because I did need some advanced features and I believe it was like $14 a month or something like that. So basically what happens is when you upload a video, it helps you do all the things. Like that's that's how I like to think about TubeBuddy. It can do some things like helping you figure out tags and helping you... Um, you know, figure out what the best time to post and things like that are. And if you're interested in those features of TubeBuddy, go back to my blog and read last week's blog post from Trina Little, where she talks about this in the blog post. She talks a lot about how she uses it to research and get to the top search positions in YouTube. I am taking it more from a technical st standpoint and telling you how I use it on the techie side. So, I'm just gonna go in and upload a video over here. It's gonna be a super, super short video that actually I have no desire to be on YouTube, but we're gonna go with it. Um, I don't want this to be public, so we're gonna go with private, but, so now while I'm uploading, you saw all of this come up. This is what I want to point out first. So this is really nice. Um, it gives you a checklist, so write compelling title. Um, you know, obviously that probably isn't the best title. So write compelling title, check. Enter a complete description, check. Add descriptive tags, check. Create a custom thumbnail. I haven't done that yet, so I'm gonna leave that one unchecked. Monetized in advanced settings. And see, if you click on the little down arrow, it will give you help here on how you do that. So add info cards, add to playlist, engage with the video. So there it says, like, you know, comment on the video um, and all this stuff. Promote across existing videos. So it tells you how you can do that. And then share on social media, which is really nice to remember to do all those things. So that checklist is really, really, really good. Um, another thing is this thumbnail. Okay. So this, if you click, oh, that's not what I want. It's, at, it's not on this screen. I'll have to do it on a different screen. But you can use TubeBuddy, here it is, there we go, to 
actually make your thumbnail. So if you didn't take the time to um, make a thumbnail in Photoshop or in Canva or whatever before you uploaded the video, you can do it right here, which is really awesome. I think this is a really great feature. Um, So it just pulls this up. You can make it come from a still from the video, a solid color or an image, and you can actually have templates in there to help you. So it literally removes the step of opening Photoshop, creating in Photoshop or Canva or whatever, uploading to YouTube and assigning to the video. You can do it all in the same little video thing. So um, that's a really helpful piece. So the checklist and the thumbnail generator. Now, one of the other ones I want to show you is this publish to face. Actually, I'm going to show you too. Schedule publish is really nice. So I can go in and schedule when this one publishes in YouTube settings because I have it as private. But if it were unlisted, I couldn't. And I like to keep my videos unlisted until they go public because I have a team behind the scenes helping me put these blog posts together and um, helping me get my social media stuff together. So if I don't have it accessible to them, they can't do that, right? Um, I have one team member who goes through and sort of pulls out points of my video so it helps us write them and things like that. So they need to be able to see them and you can't schedule it from the unlisted point. So a lot of times what ended up happening was we would, un, you know, publish it unlisted. They would have it and everything would be fine. And then we would forget to go in on the day the post went live and publish it. So it's really nice to be able to schedule when you want to publish it from TubeBuddy because it will let you do it on unlisted or private videos. So that's really awesome. Um, publish to Facebook. This one is awesome. So Facebook loves video. Facebook loves video. I could probably say it like 12 times. Facebook loves video. So what happens is that when you publish a YouTube link on Facebook, Facebook hates that. They want you to be publishing their own links, like Facebook links, or not even Facebook links, but Facebook videos directly to your page. They want, that's what they want, and that's what they will show favoritism to. So in the past, I would have to upload to YouTube, which if I'm doing video editing in iMovie, I don't want to have to, you know, export that video when I'm done to a file and then also export it to YouTube because number one, that takes up space on my computer. And number two, that's just too many steps. Like I'm all for simplicity and getting things done quickly. So I want to go straight from iMovie and publish to YouTube. So that's what I do. But that means that if I want to publish it natively on Facebook, I have to download it or export it as a file or something to be able to get that file and then upload it to Facebook. So basically I would be exporting it as a file from iMovie, uploading it to YouTube and uploading it to Facebook. And you all know how long uploads take sometimes. So this takes out like a huge amount of steps there. So basically I can, from iMovie, export straight to I'm or straight to YouTube so that there's no, you know, like one step. And then I can come in here and hit schedule to Facebook, which is awesome. So, um, I don't think I did that on the right one. There we go. So, oh, sorry. I'm on, I'm not on the right settings here, but basically what you do is you hit the little button to publish to Facebook and then When it does, you can schedule it. So when it pops up, you can schedule it. So you could come in here, do all you need to do to your movie, add your tags, add your thumbnail, everything, schedule the publish and schedule the publish to Facebook so that when it goes live, you could also make it go live on your post or on your page on Facebook and Facebook will show favoritism to it. You could create an ad with it, anything of that nature. So it is definitely a really good feature and something I want you all to play with if, you know, Facebook reach is important to you. So there's so many things you can add annotations, 
um, uh, cards, captions, etc. all from TubeBuddy. So it's like my favorite little friend right now as far as YouTube. And I haven't even played with this animated GIF generator yet. So I can only imagine what this will look like. Let's see what this looks like. Unless it takes forever and then we're not going to see what it looks like. But these things are really, really, really awesome. And if you want to use YouTube to grow your business or, you know, whatever, then you definitely, oh, there's the GIF. <laughs> That's really awesome. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. So you definitely want to add TubeBuddy to your repertoire of things to help make your business better. <laughs>